But you have to say for yourself. What's for dinner? What's going on here? What's that stink? What's this for? What time is it? What's that? Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> Hey, my beautiful people, Wagwan. Yeah, man, if this is the first time you are watching my videos, guys, go ahead and click on the subscription button right now. Also, click on the notification bell so that you will be alerted every time I upload a new video. Guys, if you are a regular visitor to my channel and you have not yet subscribed, yeah, man, click on the subscription button and support the thing, no? You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at The Noble Cup. Now, people, we are going to be listening to a audio recording between a civilian reporting, I'm assuming it's a civilian, or let us just say a Jamaican citizen reporting an accident and reporting that somebody was actually injured. Now, listening to this audio, guys, I must say I'm very troubled at how it was dealt with um, for several reasons, but I'm not going to get right into it yet. I have listened to the audio already, but we are going to listen it together before I make my commentaries. All right, so here it is. This is emergency. This is them do all the damn time. Hello? Hello, yes. Um, me need a assistant at Blueberry Corner, Islington, St. Mary. This is a car accident. The Jamaica Constabulary Force strongly recommends that all Jamaica... Them can't just move him just so. I had I had him a bleed out of him nose, you know, them can't just move him so. Hello? Yes, um, me need a officer at Blueberry Corner. Where is Blueberry Corner? Islington, St. Mary. What's up in there? Excuse me? What is happening there? Yeah, it's a car accident. An um, individual spun out, out of control, hit a pole, and then hit a wall. And out of shock, he flew out of his vehicle <laughs> and bleeding out of his nose. Man, a twang. All right, don't uh, hang up the phone here. Don't yeah. hang up. Yo, no move yet, big man. No move yet. No, man, don't make him move just for doing, man. You know, it's make him sit up. Make him sit up. Different washing of hands and sanitization. Wear a mask in public places and avoid... Jamaica Constabulary Force strongly recommends that all Jamaicans take all the necessary precautions to right, reduce the risk of contracting the COVID-19 infection. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. Frequent washing of hands and sanitization. Hi, sir. Talk, talk to the Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, I need an assistant. Um, an indi individual spun out. Hit the light post and then hit a wall at Blueberry Con in Islington. Excited, my Bleeding out of his nose. In my bleed out that nose? Yes. No, vehicle unable to move. No, there's in the area. If anybody in the area? There's, um, well, we don't really want to move him unless of somebody skilled there on the place, you know, because there's something mm. worse happened to him than whoever take fault. Mm. If what? If something so, worse happened to him, this is a head, this is a head trauma. <laughs> but we, we don't have um, ambulance. Oh my so God. Yeah, so Mr. Nobody up there, no, cert, no certify we can deal with something like this. So let me pause it here, guys. So the police have said they, are in, they have no ambulance and they don't have an ambulance service. But it is the responsibility of the police to get help. Uh, is the police station young? Yeah, this is nobody up there not trained to deal with something like this in case of emergency. No, so no, I tell the no, man, no, say this is a police or station. Or somebody not trained up there. Then the man no say a police station him call, eh? Where I tell the man say this is a police station. It is your duty to assist. Anyway, people, sorry about that. May I comment before the audio done? Make we listen to the rest of it. So what time we have to please? Um, just a while ago, right now. Not even mm. five minutes yet. At 2 o'clock at curfew time. At 2 o'clock at curfew, and this is an essential worker. It's a um, floor contractor that's on, the, that's on the road. Right now, because of that, about 40 people left on the road. <laughs> they won't forget one vehicle. We don't have, we don't know nearby. We are calling a while ago. This is the command center. We are sending four for it. Oh, my but, God. Don't so so try to put him on a vehicle. That's... Anybody can carry him go, yeah. carry him go down there? All right. Do that then. All right. My God. Eh? The police are asking about curfew. What that have to do with somebody being in an accident? Huh? 
I mean, understand, and then you're going to tell the man that this is the police um, control. Or com of course, it's a police control, which is why you are supposed to have contact with all the essential services. It seems as if police officers don't have any regard for life or don't really care about people. As an ex-police officer, I must say I'm very, very disappointed in how the police dealt with this one. Right. But before I get into my commentaries, I want to just take a look at an article where the Jamaica Constabulary Force actually addressed the issue. And we are going to just read the article and what they have to say. And then I give my little piece on this thing. The article is found on Loop News. So it says that the police high command has expressed regret at the recent handling of a call to a rural police station of which a recording has been making the rounds on social media and drawing wide-scale public comments in the process. The audio the police indicated is of an interaction between a member of the public and a member of the force during an emergency call. In a statement, the police said the call was received by a JCF member at the Islington Police Station in the St. Mary Division. The statement said that the recording was a subject of discussion during the High Command's the most recent weekly meeting that was attended by all divisional commanders and or their representatives. The interaction on the call is seen as most unfortunate given the level of training, reform and modernization taking place within the JCF at this time, said the statement. The emergency assistance that was being sought by the caller was not forthcoming from the police station and the communication with the caller was clearly not at an acceptable level, judging by the audio. It represents a significant deviation from the JCF standard for public interaction and is now the subject of an investigation led by the Divisional Commander for St. Mary. When this investigation is concluded, the appropriate action will be taken, the statement added. Interestingly, the statement of regret went deeper. The Police Emergency Communication Center is one of the entities at the forefront of the shift in the policing paradigm within which the organization operates. Improvements are currently being implemented to bring the constabulary's communication system in line with ISO 9001, right? Global standards for service delivery to the public, the JCF stated. So it's ISO 9001, right? And that's a standard that has been adopted right across the world. Um, so by way of assurances going forward, it said, as we pursue these new standards in the bonds to come, the public can be assured that there will be a significant change in the quality of our communication, especially during emergency circumstances. Yes, guys, I'm happy that the Jamaica Constabulary Force address um, this situation. And this is something that has been going on in the JCA for a very long time long time and that is why i've always said that you know social media can be good and bad because it brings light to a lot of these things that are happening within the constabulary force there's no doubt that we need to improve our systems and we need to improve the attitudes of our police officers i've served as a police officer and i've seen this kind of attitude you have some lazy police right who just take their money a month time and them not do nothing at all. Obviously, these officers treated the situation as though they have no regard for life. Can you imagine? No, police officers are usually first responders in these situations, and it is advised that citizens contact the police first at all times in in situations like these where an accident um, has occurred. Uh, this is something right across the board. It is not only in Jamaica. So when the citizen call the police, then it is the duty of the police to contact the other emergency services to get somebody on the scene. No, another thing that um, you know I find a little bit troubling about the call was that 
the civilian said that he did not want to move the man. Now, Jamaicans are usually very helpful people and of course he did his part by calling the police. But I also believe that when you have somebody who is injured, um, it's important that if you can assist the person to the hospital, it's best. Because we know how the system stays. Sometimes police officers not even have a vehicle. I don't know how it is there now. They have been investing in the JCF and buying motor vehicles to have police mobile. So I can't say uh, whether or not they had vehicles. But in many circumstances, people call the police. They don't have a vehicle to go to the, 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 the scene of the accident or they don't have vehicles to go investigate what is happening when they get an emergency call, which is kind of sad. But I'm happy that that is changing. Well, the police, the JCF said that they are moving to change that and I hope to see some significant changes very soon. However, I want to add one more point that uh, police officers behaving like this is really contrary to their training. As an ex-police officer, guys, we were trained to deal with these kinds of situations with alacrity. And the way this police officer treated or these police officers treated the situation was highly unacceptable and I think it's full time that the police be held accountable for these kinds of behavior. It is full time the police know that they work for the people of Jamaica, right? That they have a duty to serve the people of Jamaica. And if you don't want to be in that position, then don't join the JCF. Joining the police service comes with great responsibility. And if you feel like you know, want that responsibility, then don't join the police service at all. It better we have 10 good police officers than have a thousand bad police officers. That is how I see it. Now guys, just in case there is somebody out there that said, boy, I want to Mr. Watson, man. I'm come go on like say, um, in better than people and when my police in when perfect. Well, let me just share one of my experiences that I've had when I served in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. I can remember on one occasion, I was traveling in a marked police service vehicle with a fellow sergeant. And on our way to our office, we saw an accident. And I remember saying to the sergeant that, oh, we need to stop and make sure that everybody is okay. And you know what the sergeant said to me? No man, traffic man, then we deal with it. We have things to go do. And I said to the sergeant, what could be more important than helping out a fellow citizen? It is our job. I believe that it is unacceptable to pass this accident and not help out, right? And I insisted, um, luckily I was the one driving, and so I stopped the vehicle, investigated, and we discovered that one of the individuals who was involved in the accident was actually a colleague of ours, right? And so we were able to help out the people in the accident. We then called traffic police for them to come to the accident scene and do what they need to do. Now this sergeant, when he realized that it was one of our colleagues who was one of the persons involved in the accident, he was happy that we stopped, right? It is our job as police officers to assist in these situations. We are first responders, right? We are given a great responsibility to ensure that our citizens are safe in every possible situation. That is the kind of job we took on when we decided to join the police service. No, guys, I am not saying that every police officer is bad. We have some very good police officers, right, who would definitely respond in a more appropriate way and assist, you know, but it's unfortunate that this particular situation was captured on audio. I've always said that social media can be good and bad, but um, in this situation, I think it was a good thing because what it did was to reveal the gaps within the Jamaica Constabulary Force and reveal that things need to improve. Guys, thank you for taking the time out to watch this video as per usual. Guys, tell me what you think in the comment down below. When you listen to the audio, what do you think of the responses of the police? Uh, do you think that it wasn't that bad? 
or do you think that it was really bad? Do you think that the, the persons on the scene, the um, citizens on the scene should have taken this man to the hospital? What do you think about police training in first aid, right? What do you think about our ambulance system there, right? Is it something that we, the service there, the ambulance service there, is it something that we can rely on, right? All of these things need to improve in Jamaica, guys. Just give me your comment down below. Anyway, guys, until next time, yeah, man, peace out, all right?